let's do an unboxing and setup of this Superfish EcoFlow 120 external canister filter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Naquascape. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on me setting up different styles of aquascapes, whether the low, medium or high tech planted aquarium setups, and doing unboxings of reviews of products related to aquascaping and planted aquariums. Let's jump straight into the video. So I'm gonna take all of the components out of the box. I've not opened this box before, so let's just see what we've got. So, right from the gate, I'm gonna take this out. We'll have a look at what comes with the filter and the filter itself. Immediately, it's a very small canister filter. We'll go through kind of like the parameters of this filter in terms of flow rate, etc., etc. but I just wanna get out of the box show you what we've got. So it looks like the motor is on the outside, meaning the impeller system. So that might be true. Um, and then we have these four clips. Let's see what we get inside the filter. Um, that just clips on and off, so that's great. You can take, you can take these off as and when you need. Um, so we can just do that, that comes off. That comes off and you can you can take these off as and when you need so that's great first thing i want to do is inspect the seat so that was pretty tough to take off um yeah the seal is lubricated and it feels like it has a good sealing system as well and this feels strong and robust actually at the top so inside the filter we get this ring as well so sponge, sponge, that's carbon, sponge, and another kind of sieve or mesh, okay, at the bottom. Right then, so easy. It doesn't come in any body media, and when I set this up, I'm going to set it up as is. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it like it is and use it like it is. So fairly easy there, that goes on the top. Okay, so it's a small filter, a pump is on the outside here. So I'm guessing that, yep, that unscrews. So again, I, I've not consulted instructions. I'm pretty bad at that actually. I should always read the instructions. Um, I recommend that you do, even if I don't. Um, yeah, there's the impeller system. Okay, and so that, how easy is that to get back on? Let's have a look. That fits on snug. There's a seal just there as well. Uh, so that's that. What do we get in the box? Let's have a quick look. Some green hosing, which right from the start, I am not a fan of green hosing at all. Um, I think what the company can do is actually get some clear hosing sourced. Lots of green hosing, and the diameter of this hosing is, um, according to the box, 9mm internal, 12mm outer diameter. Okay. Right, what is this? This looks like a tap as well, so you can uh, put that on there. Screw that on. Okay, you're going to need this tap, and you can turn that valve off okay and then you can open that you can open this up and you can turn that valve off and open this up so that's good so it's got some valve that's great and once it's screwed on it can turn as well different positions so yeah really happy with that so i don't know how much this normally retails for but i'll leave a price just here so yeah i've got the tap on there so that sits on the top um you don't need a tap on here because it comes with a screw valve. Um, however, you know, Superfish and Aquadistry have supplied me with some double tap connectors that I can have on here to isolate the tubing and the filter as well. In the packet, 
no one likes that noise. But this is live, well it's not live, but you know, very little editing hopefully is going to go into this video. <laughs> um, but right, what do we have? Um, for the inlet and outlet, it looks like we've got outlet in one packet and inlet options in another packet. Four suction cups and various bits and bobs in there. And in there, there we go. So it didn't take too long to figure that out. And it looks like what you can do is if you want this to be shorter, take one of the pieces off, put that end piece back in, and that's a shorter length. Okay, and if you want it even shorter, um, looks like you can take that out, put that in, and it's that short. Okay, so yeah, good options for having different kind of depths. Okay, I like that. What I also like about the strainer is that, you know, the gaps in the strainer aren't too wide. So, you you know, if, this is the problem I have with setting up nano tanks. The gaps in the kind of strainer are so wide that actually sometimes the nano fish get stuck in. I've got some chili rasboras and green neons. And initially, when I add the green neon tetras to this tank here behind me, which is an ADA 60P, you know what? some of the fish were kind of getting really close to the intake and they could have kind of got trapped in there. Um, so what I had to do is actually put a shrimp guard on the top of that to stop the neon tetras from getting kind of sucked in. Um, I had one that almost got sucked in, I had to prize him out and thankfully he survived, he or she. I can't sex fish, especially tetras. Um, so once they've gone a little bit bigger, I was able to take the shrimp guard off and they've been absolutely fine. So I'm pleased to say, yeah, the gaps in here, suitable for a nano aquarium, not going to have too many problems of fish getting trapped in there. So that's really good. Okay, so in terms of outlet options, um, basically, um, that's the outlet pipe. I don't know how that's going to attach onto, well, I do actually, it must go here. Right, so again, I'm not looking at the instructions, you can look at the instructions. I just want to see how easy it is to set up. Um, and you can put a suction pad there, uh, like so, and then that will stick onto the edge of the glass. Then we got some options where the water will come out. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Um, let's move that out of the way one second. Fastener to fasten on the tube. Um, and then what we have have our options so that must go on there um, like I had it on before yeah so that came like that um, outlet we can put on does that fit on there so we've got a spray bar but I am a big fan of spray bars in like river streamscapes where you've only got a few plants etc etc I actually might kind of do another type of riverbed streamscape um, that's a bit a bit different as well with the spray bar system and only a few plants um yeah so subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss out on those kind of scapes okay so going off tangent there so i've got this option and you know what here you can just blow the water straight out okay if you want um if you want a spray bar i guess that will have to push on there and that will have to yeah so so that goes on there and that's pretty solidly in so now you've got an option for a spray bar okay there's your spray bar so that's good and any other options that i want oh there's this kind of nozzle as well hopefully that focuses in yeah so i've got that nozzle um looking at the kind of setup it looks like there's a kind of like a ball half kind of ball on there so I guess that can push on there ex leaving the kind of ball half ball area out and I guess this will have to push on there yep and then you can kind of direct the flow or the outflow of the water so yeah you know what simple but it looks like it could be could be very effective right okay so yeah that's all the bits and bobs that you get fairly simple you know what why don't we go to the tank and why don't we set this up 
Okay, so here we are at the cabinet and as you can see, I've set up this CO2 bottle with the lights and stuff. Um, you've already seen a video of that. Um, working out really well, actually, this system. I'm really happy with it. It's on a timer. Um, I've got filter, thermometer, light as well. These cables need tidying up, so why don't I just go and do that one second. Okay, so I'm going to sit the filter on this end here. Um, so basically the tubing is going to go out in this hole um, that I've got up there. So what I've done just there is just put the one of the extension pipes on so I can get that into the aquarium. Another pro tip is that on the tubing, run that under hot water and it'd be a lot easier to put onto your inlet and outlet pipes. Another tip is actually put the, the tubing onto your inlet and outlet pipes first. So let's get that on. Push that all the way up. Okay, get your tubing onto the inlet and outlet pipes and then plumb it into your filter. If you do it that way, then you're less likely to get movement of your inlet and outlet pipes. Okay, so with this filter, water comes in at this end, goes down and then comes out this end. So what I need to do is plumb in the inlet, plumb in the outlet, and in fact, I need to suck on the outlet tube in order to prime this filter. Let's see how this works. I've never done this before, but this is how it's done in the ADA Superjet filter as well. Okay, so that filter is now primed. Put that back on. That wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> I was dreading that bit, but that was fine. What I like about these fasteners is they've got a good grip on them as well, so you can really get them nice and tight. Okay, so I'm going to plug the filter in now, and then what we can do is just check the flow. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at the flow. So that's the flow. So, you know, this could be used on a aquarium that's about 45 litres or less, and it should do a good job. Okay, so a few stats about this filter in terms of its, you know, performance and some of its parameters. So, it states on the box that it's 400 litres per hour. It also mentions that you can filter an aquarium up to about 120 litres. So, I know people who have used this filter on Dutch-style aquariums, and they have got really good plant growth. Um, and the aquarium size is around 90 litres. So they've literally used just this filter on a 90 litre aquarium. And I've seen it for myself that, yeah, they're getting really good plant growth. Um, but this is kind of like a Dutch style aquarium, which doesn't have much hardscape whatsoever. And I don't know how true this is, but, you know, people have kind of said that you need around two to four um, times turnover on a Dutch style aquarium. So let me know in the comments, if you keep a Dutch style aquascape, what is the flow in terms of turnover uh, volume for your Dutch style aquascape? So that is an unboxing and a setup of this Superfish EcoFlow 120 filter. 
I'll see how this filter beds in and progresses and try and figure out how long it takes me to maintain the filter as well. Okay, so future videos are gonna include me scaping different tanks. So hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all of that content. Until then, see you in the next video. For now, ta-ra.